Hi guys, welcome to Operation Crypto. This is a price analysis update on Polkadot, which is ticker DOT. We'll take a look at the asset in both the USDT and the BTC pairings and take a look at a few key levels where we could potentially invest and where we could look to take profit on the way up. Very bullish time coming up for Polkadot with Powerchain Auction starting tomorrow, which is the 11th of November, and then that's going to run on for the next six months. So a very, very interesting time coming up. If you're new to this channel, please make sure that you are subscribed. Hit that like button and let's crack on. So welcome as ever, this video is in partnership with Cointelegraph Markets Pro. If you want to get one step ahead of the game, you'll find a complete platform review on the homepage on my YouTube channel with all the links in each of these videos. Uh, I do apologise if the noise sounds a bit like I'm stood in a cave, but I'm currently in limbo <laughs> moving house, so um, we'll have to deal with it for now, but let's have a look at the charts and see what's going on. I mentioned in previous videos, and also in my Patreon, that this region here, at $50, is that area to buy. It is pretty much on that free 8 tool of the Fibonacci, and it's also a nice psychological number. $50 is that area where people will be considering buying. So we've been up new all-time highs uh, since the previous video is $55 and three cent. We had a rejection, no closures below the 382, which is a bullish sign. You can see we tapped it twice here, closures on it, and we just come back down, pretty much bounced off $50 and five cent. Uh, and $50, like I say, it is that psychological area where you will be considering placing orders. Just a couple of points you need to note. Bitcoin is very bullish and it's looking good and it's looking like continuation. We have a parachain auction starting tomorrow, so that means that we're going to be a lot more Polkadot getting locked up into these parachain auctions. That means they're locked up for two years. That's two years of Polkadot off the order books, off any trading capability or platform. That is bullish. That means scarcity. That means going to be less dot in circulation. And it's going to mean that less uh, dot to push up the price. So all in all, things are starting to look really, really good. And I think currently this is one of my most favorite projects just due to um, the brand of a project, what they're trying to achieve and the, the 100 parachain slot auction. So things are looking good. Just a slight bearish um, take on this. Uh, we, we always have that possibility of a drop on Bitcoin and a drop in the market. If we did get a drop, I think the lowest point we would go is down here at 46.37. I mean, it may not come down there because as you can see, this is strong support here with no closures below it and things are looking good. So for me, that would just be an area where we'd just play some orders just in case in like maybe 5% of what you're potentially going to put in. Uh, but look at this candle forming so far. We've had a nice bounce of $50. Um, but let's see how this goes on throughout this video. Just looking at a moving averages, I use the 20 and the 50. Um, we've had a bullish cross down here on the latest move on 1st of November. Come back down pretty much close. And we actually closed below that moving average 50. You can see there we had a bullish retest. And if we look on the daily, you'll get a better perspective here. Look at this. We have actually not had a... We've had a cross then. Right at the beginning of moving August. And we've we come back down. One key point I'm always looking for when we have that crossover on the moving averages is a retest. And look at that. We've retested a 50 here. We actually had a deviation down here when we were falling wedge in September. That was a horrific month. But we're, we're looking good and things are starting to push on now. The EMAs are starting to get wider apart. And to be honest, I think it is up only from here. So that's a little bit of a bearish spin on it. it just buys down at $46. If we are looking for some targets above though, we can use the extensions on the fib that I've used here at $58 and $63. If you're looking to accumulate, what I would do is consider selling um, only a small portion of your portfolio, maybe 5 to 10% at those regions in order to buy back. Uh, and that's if you're wanting to accumulate. If you've been in the asset for maybe 6 to 10 months and you bought sub $10, then you could use these areas for some nice take profit regions because you're going to be maybe 5 to 10x up on, uh, on your current buys. For me, I'm just holding a little bit longer. And in terms of price predictions let's just have a look at this i've done this before and had a look at some levels above but if we look at the entire move so i've got fibonacci on here uh, over the entire move so from when we've done previous highs all the way to the bottom we had a massive couple and handle break out to the upside and like i say things are looking very very good now but we need to look at some price predictions above i think i've got mine on here somewhere 
I think about 191 was my price prediction, but if you're looking for some major levels of psychological resistance and Fibonacci resistance, then you can look at these levels. 73, 99, we're obviously going to reject there because every man and his dog will be wanting to sell polka dot $100 and that is probably the area where you would um, expect quite a, a decent pullback. So that's the first region and then we have 113, 144 and 191. Like I say, <clears throat> there's a lot of polka dot getting locked up now. That means scarcity, that means there's a lot less in circulation and that is good for for price projection and things to start pushing on. So that's the price predictions and that's the bearish phase. And then we've got a little, well, a few um, areas there where you can take profit if you're looking to accumulate at 58 and 63. If we take a look at a BTC pairing, which I keep saying this, I'm slightly bearish on a BTC pairing. We've actually had a breakout here. This didn't happen, what I said on the last video. Um, so we've had a breakout of this uh, bullish pendant to the upside. And it looks like we're coming back down to retest this this trend line here at around 7,300 satoshis. I'm still expecting Bitcoin to go on a major rally um, over the course of the next potentially uh, the next six to eight weeks. With that, satoshis will start to feel the pressure. If you're looking for some buys on Polkadot, I would look down here at around 5,600 sats. That could be an area where you could load up on some Polkadot once bitcoin has topped out so monitor bitcoin now monitor your price once bitcoin has peaked you will see the satoshi pair start to dwindle off a little bit and this is an area where we would consider for some buys if we do get a major pullback and then if you're looking for targets above we've obviously got this region here at around 10,000 sats i think 10,000 sats will be a decent area to take profit um, going in towards the end of this cycle so that's that pair covered too and one thing i'd just like to comment on is my patreon is now live with an active uh, discord server here with a hell of a lot going on down the side we have trading bitcoin chart requests open trades that i'm currently in if i'm doing any um, every single day or most days should i say i'm dropping a market update in here which you can watch at your will and anything you want we have a section for metaverse dot power change new projects crypto tax we have uh, making tax simple he's got a great account and he offers tax advice in there too so plenty of things going on if you want to join we'll find a link for a patreon in the pinned comment in the description so that's going to do it for today that's an update on polkadot if you are new to his channel please make sure that you are subscribed hit that like button and i'll catch you next time